hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that how to make a image carousel using angular 13 so basically it will be a gallery of images which will be shown inside an animated manner so this is called as carousel so we will be using a special library of angular so this will be shown something like this it can be draggable you can also drag images like this so a simple animation of in images will be shown to you in the form of gallery you can have as many images as you want so side by side it will be shown so when you load the application for the very first time it can also automatically show on its own like this so here you can choose any image of your choice you can download image from the internet and show to you show to the user inside your angular application so you have visited many websites on the internet where, where they have this uh, automatic image carousel showing the images on the website so this is exactly the effect that we will going to implement in this video especially inside our angular application and the dependency which we will be using is this ngx dash o w l owl carousel dash o so this dependency is available if you just go to npmjs.com if you just search for this dependency which is ngx o w l carousel dash o it is a very famous dependency to, you can see 29,000 weekly downloads so it is compatible with the version of angular which is greater than 6 or equal to 6 and the main thing is that it doesn't use jquery so it is it doesn't use third party dependencies so it's a free open source module which implements carousel of multiple images inside a gallery so various options are supported you can animate it depending upon the options so i will be showing you all the options in detail so i have given all the source code in the video description guys so if you just go to the video description of my blog post so this is the blog post i have written here so if you want the full source code of this tutorial you can go to the blog post here i have written here the complete step by step source code so now let's get started guys by building this application so first of all i will go into my projects folder and simply i will open a new directory make a new directory which is angular carousel cd into this and here we will make a new project with the help of this command which is ng new followed by the project name so now this will create a sample uh, angular project it is asking that would you like to use angular routing i will say no and we will use css for the style sheet so this typically take 15 to 20 seconds to create your project it doesn't it totally depends upon your internet speed and computer speed so now it is just creating the angular project so please hit the like button guys if anyone watching this live stream and also subscribe the channel as well great thanks to go live shivanshu is asking so thank you very much bro so it is now installing these packages so just wait So now it has created this project guys so we can simply go into the project and now we can open this project inside the visual studio code text editor so you can use any text editor of your choice but i am using this text editor so you will see that inside the source folder this is sample angular js project angular project so now to run this it is very easy you just type ng serve before that we need to install this dependency which is uh, ngx dash o w l carousel dash o so just install this dependency with the help of this command so you need to just put dash dash force because this can be incompatible let me see if you see here uh, the command here just copy it so now it is installed it guys so it was just a spelling mistake ngs all carousel dash o 
so now it has installed it so now we can start our application by writing this command which is ng surf so this will start our application at particular port number which is 4200 so in the meanwhile we can just include the steps in order to include this library so the very first step guys in order to use this library you need to include the style sheets so this can be done using going to the file which is angular.json file of your angular project so in the root folder you will find this file which is angular.json so right here just go to this file and you need to make slight modifications just go to the styles array here and you need to add these two lines which is very much useful which is node modules inside our node modules folder we have this ngx owl carousel dash o inside lib inside the library folder we need to grab the styles and inside this there is a pre-built folder pre-built dash themes dash owl dot carousel dot main dot css so we are including the css file and once again we also need the default main.css so the path will remain the same so we can copy this path and simply paste it so this will change to old.theme default main.css that's it this is all that you need to do and make sure that you write this line which is this one just move this line to the last just make sure that styles.css that's it so this is all that you need to do inside this file so now you can close this so now we need to go to our app folder and inside this go to app.module.ts so here we need to register the module so simply we will import this at the very top so we will simply write here import and we will simply say carousel module and it will automatically do for me you can see that ngx all carousel dash o so next step is that we need to add this inside the import array so simply put a comma and just add this carousel module and that's all that you need to do guys so also close this file also and now move on to the app.component.ts file so right here at the very top you need to import the options that this library support which is ol options so this will also import it from the same library that we have installed so after this we need to have the options custom options so this will be of the type all options so this library supports many options sub, such as loop option which is it can be either true or false boolean parameters so i will put at true so this simply means that when you load the page the animation will start automatically so loop is true that means mouse drag i will put to true touch track so these are all the gesture options so if you put this to false you cannot drag the carousel pull drag all these options true you can change these options it is totally dependent upon you whether you need to customize this dot symbol i will put this to also true so three dots will be shown just below the images you can also have the speeds as well how much speed that you want nav speed you can provide numeric value here which is 700 nav text so this can be empty or you can write something here also so all these options it supports guys and uh, then we have got the it is completely responsive so that's why inside this object it tells you at what sizes how many images will be shown so at zero size i want that only one image should be shown to the user at 400 size two images will be shown and when the size becomes 740 
So basically, if the size of the device increases, we are just saying that show more images. And when the size becomes 940, such as the desktop size, we are letting the user to show four images. And at last, we want the navigation to be true. That's it. Now we need to show something on the screen guys. So we will move on to app.component.html file. So remove all this code and right here we will have a simple div. So we will say that sample carousel with multiple images. So right here we will have old carousel. This is a tag. So now we need to attach the options that we defined in the previous file. So by this object options directive. So here we can attach this needs to be same. The spelling the spelling needs to be same. Custom options. So we where have we are declared here? You will see custom options. So this needs to be same. So inside this, we now need to ng template. And uh, here we can need to uh, initialize carousel slide. This is the slide that we can attach, slide one. So we can copy this two more times to show. So we can change this to slide two, slide three. So if you now refresh it, so it will start this application on 4200. So it is just doing it. So now it is compiled successfully. So now it is listening on localhost 4200. So So I think it is not showing because we haven't uh, put the images. So for having the images, it is very easy. If you go to the So you can also show images here instead of showing the text. So this can be a valid image on the internet. So you can copy the image address. Just copy the image address. So. I think there is some kind of error which is taking place. Let me see why it is doing this.
if you see this example I think for this the animations module will also be needed so let me paste this Uh, guys for this I can just tell you that locally it is not working on my PC but the steps are the same you can refer this example which is hosted on stackblitz.com so here they have shown complete example so they are taking these images from API so they are making HTTP request so at this moment of time my this project is not working but the steps are the same you can refer my blog post for better instructions so if you faced any sort of problem you can ask in the comment section so the steps are the same you can just play with these options like this so thanks very much for watching this video